Hello everyone, my name is Azatru, how are you? And welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 news update video of mine. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you all the brand new details on the upcoming large scale game mode. The community transmission has just dropped, we've got a brand new map, a brand new player count, we've got the name, we've got all the details you need to know. So I'll just get started with the game mode name, and it is called capital supremacy doesn't that sound cool and now let's move on to the details on how this game mode works so when you start a game of capital supremacy you'll begin on the ground of geonosis and basically you'll capture several command posts there's five across the map and capturing these command posts give you reinforcement points and if you get a certain amount of these reinforcement points troop transports will arrive to come and pick you up and you've only got a short amount of time to get to the troop transports now, basically, these troop transports will take you up to the opposing side's capital ship, whether that be the Venator or the Dreadnought, and you have to plant charges in certain locations and blow the thing up. And if you do destroy the capital ship, you'll win the game. That's how it works. But if you get onto the enemy ship and fail to destroy it, the battle will return to the surface of the planet where you can repeat the process and attempt to capture command posts. From here, once again, you'll need to gain the necessary reinforcements needed to launch the assault on the capital ships. Speaking of reinforcements, the commando droids and the art troopers are coming. Here's an image of the commando droid which looks fantastic it looks awesome and i guess this is inside one of the capital ships which is really, really cool so in terms of player numbers it's going to be a 20 v 20 game mode so 20 real players on each side but there will be 12 v 12 additional ai controlled units for the planetary phase of the battle which is really interesting so that makes it 32 versus 32 a 64 player battle on the ground which is awesome this is something we've seen in starfighter assault and it does really add to the immersion of the battle when you're on the capital ships this does mean it becomes 20 v 20 as a maximum and it says when the attack on the capital ship occurs the teams have to override one of two doors and from there they'll plant a device to destroy the critical ship systems while the defenders can interact with the timer to stop it from progressing they are unable to reset it so every second counts once the timer is complete and both the jet power generators have been destroyed, the game is over. And the attacking team only has a limited amount of tickets during the assault on the capital ship, so should this ticket count reach zero before the critical systems have been destroyed, the combat will return to the planetary surface. So this could go on for quite some time. If you make your way onto the Venator, you'll be playing in the key areas that are the cargo bay and reactor core. As for the key areas of the Separatist Dreadnoughts, they will include the droid deployment bay and the cooling vent room. So this game mode is going to be locked to Geonosis and the Clone Wars era. And I know some people will be upset about that. The light side heroes are going to be locked just like the dark side heroes. So you'll only be able to select Obi-Wan Kenobi, Anakin, Yoda and Chewbacca for the light side. As for the dark side, you'll get General Grievous, Count Dooku, Darth Maul and Bosk. It does specifically state at launch, Capital Supremacy will only be available on Geonosis, but that doesn't mean it's just not going to be available on other maps in the future. They've actually made a new map for this mode, which is really awesome. It's not the one seen in Heroes vs. Villains or Galactic Assault. The new map is called Pipeline Junction West, and it will feature sand dunes, characteristic cliff formations, areas contaminated with toxic waste, and a mysterious boneyard where you'll find the remains of large creatures from across the galaxy. Remember, this game mode releases on Tuesday, so we're just a few days away. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to play this game mode. I really, really hope this is just as fun as it sounds. Please do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Are you excited for Capital Supremacy? I sure am, and I can't wait to play it. If you enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe for new videos like this one. Of course, I'm going to be covering this game mode extensively next week. Check out any of the two previous videos on screen if you did miss them. And I shall see you all in my next Star Wars Battlefront 2 and of course on the Battlefront in Capital Supremacy. Goodbye.